Hey y'all, today we're going to be doing a little bit of an update on our situation and be reviewing our new Santino's house cigar, so stick around. Hello, welcome back everyone to Santino's Sunday Cigar Review. We're having a casual Sunday up here since we're pretty much uh, closed to uh, inside business, just doing curbside service. Uh, we want to briefly discuss the COVID-19 updates. Uh, tomorrow, the governor, Mike Parsons, will be giving a detailed report on his plan of this multi-step process. So folks, I don't want to speculate uh, what he might say. Let's just wait till tomorrow. I do know that the only business I can do is just curbside service, um, and that's it, unfortunately. But we are scheduled at this point to reopen May 4th for full business, so stay tuned tomorrow and check the news and get the updates from the governor himself. Um, today, we're going to feature, I'm going to dive right into this, we're going to um, feature our house, our new house cigar. I'll talk to that in about a minute. Oh, and by the way, I want to introduce uh, Caesar. This is our, our new uh, Santino's house dog here. He's uh, my dog. He's a puppy, and uh, he's kind of starting to become a fixture here at the store. So, folks, he's friendly. You don't have to worry about him. Um, but stay tuned. I'm going to smoke into this a little bit, and we will dive right in, Maddie and myself, mm -hmm. to the description of our new cigar. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, uh, welcome back from that break. And I wanted to touch a little bit on this before we get started. Uh, so I know that a lot of the more bigger uh, people on YouTube right now are doing a lot of the like uh, Zoom meetings and stuff like that whenever they do stuff. But right now, uh, Mike and I are actually sitting, it's actually six feet apart. We measured that a little bit ago. Uh, so that's a little bit of a socially distant soiree here for us today. Um, I wanted to talk about this uh, house cigar that we've got going on right now. So right now we only have the Habano and we have it in three sizes. So we have it in 6x52, 5x52, and 5.5x52. Now what makes this cigar so really uh, neat and special here at Santino's is that it's uh, for a 10 pack of it, it's $27.50. So uh, that's going to be about $2.75 a cigar, which is uh, outstanding for most cigars and is honestly one of the best prices I've seen in quite a while for something like this. Now from what I've been hearing feedback from customers and stuff like that on uh, what these cigars taste like is they have a lot of a more of a woody note to it and it's just basically a plain through and through medium cigar that's going to be great with any occasion any type of day. Say you're out on the golf course you're mowing your lawn you just want to have a more mellow cigar while you're drinking coffee on your back porch because, you know, you want to get away from your family because they're starting to annoy you. Stuff like that. This would be an amazing cigar for that. Um, Mike, do you have any notes so far on yours? Yeah, well, first of all, when you get annoyed by family, get a dog. Uh, <laughs> and Caesar does enjoy cigars, folks. He, he's, uh, he likes Tatawahe and he likes Leaf by Oscar. He eats them whole. And uh, folks, don't worry for all you, you know, dog people out there. He doesn't get sick. Um, so I just I want to correct Betty on one thing on her three sizes. She mentioned the last one five and a half by fifty two. It's actually five and a half by fifty five. Uh, well, uh, it's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Matt, Maddie is 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 correct. This is a great all around cigar. You cannot beat the price. We know that all these manufacturers make factory seconds, factory thirds, scraps off the floor, and you know that they've stepped on all day and then made them into cheap cigars for people, mm -hmm. folks. We're not into that. What I wanted to do here at Santino's by cus popular customer request was, they knew we had the rare cigars, they knew we had the popular cigars, they knew we had the boutique cigars, uh, but they wanted something that was quality and inexpensive. So folks, I believe this is a quality smoke and we've made it extra cheap for people. You know, two seventy five a cigar or like twenty seven fifty for a 10 pack. Um, it is a hit, you know, I could go on and on about this cigar, but it's a no-brainer. We're not even going to go to the try, buy, or deny with this cigar. 
you just you just it, it, it's been a hit with all all the customers. So the, unfortunately, we only have the Habano. Soon will come the Maduro and the Connecticut in multiple sizes, and then we will expand even upon those and create some real creative custom cigars. I'm working on an exaggerated shaggy foot, uh, possibly a custom designed um, barber pole. So just stay tuned. Um, more will follow, and you know we really you know anticipate hopefully that May 4th, like I said earlier, that that will be our official reopening. We're also um, I'm working on uh, redesigning uh, the inside of the store to help alleviate any social distancing issues or any criteria that the governor may come up with. I'm, I'm all, I've already been thinking about it these last six weeks or so. So it uh, might physically look a little different. Folks, another addition for all you um, uh, liquor enthusiasts that, that, that have been waiting to sample all the, 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 the whiskey here. Folks, I've now increased whiskey up to 500 bottles. You already know it's the best selection in the Midwest, but we've put a whole nother uh, shelf, a wall of shelves up to expand our selection. We're in the process of installing more shelves in the humidor, which will be up and ready to go by the May 4th deadline. Folks, that's going to increase our facings in the humidor by an extra 150. That's extra. Sometimes, folks, that's all some cigar stores have. Um, so we we are really, you know, I've, I've actually been spending money in this shutdown. Um, and so I, I, I think that people are going to be pleasantly surprised, our regular customers when they return, and any new customers I think will be pleasantly shocked on the upgrades, the new inventory, the new layout. Um, so, so stay tuned. Well, that wraps, about wraps it up here for this week's episode of Santino Sunday Cigar Review. Uh, really quickly, what, whenever you guys are home and stuff like that, uh, why don't you put it down in the comments what you would like us to see reviewed uh, next because honestly, it's kind of a weird time right now and we're trying to figure out what to do and figure it out. Why not ask y'all? Um, but uh, don't forget to check out our website below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe on this video. Uh, ring that bell for some notifications and it'll be all good. So stay safe, y'all.